So Tampa Hackerspace is a 501c3 nonprofit, and as such, we have the mission to teach people things. And our specific goal is to teach people how to make things for themselves. When I grew up, if you made things, it meant that you had a sewing machine or you had a crochet hook. To come in and be able to say, oh yeah, there's a laser cutter right over there. There's a 3D printer right over there. There's a table saw next door. I can do this all in one place. That's kind of the, the biggest canvas that I've ever been in front of. We have people here who have launched careers doing this. People find their way to change their lives with what they're interested in. Whenever people hear the word hackerspace, sometimes they get some expectations that are not necessarily the reality of what we do. Um, I have had people come here on open make nights and show me their IT certifications and say, show me hacking. No, that's not quite what we do. So Tampa Hackerspace is a 501c3 nonprofit, and as such, we have the mission to teach people things. And our specific goal is to teach people how to make things for themselves. The entire organization is run by volunteers. We don't have any paid staff. And because it's all volunteer run, everything that happens around the space, including teaching classes and all the other activities, maintaining tools, maintaining the shops, are run by people who are committed to the mission that we have. So we actually have close to 200 members um, that are active and paying and helping contribute to the space. Once you decide you want to become a member, and I suggest strongly before you make that decision, you come visit us during one of our Tuesday open houses so that you can see the space, understand the culture, understand how we built the community, and make sure it's going to be a good fit. But once you've done that and you're convinced you want to join, you go to our website and you set up a subscription for payment. And once you've joined as a member, you have 24 seven access to the space. So that literally means you can come and go as you please. And then we also offer classes teaching members how to use the tools. And we also offer skills classes teaching people different techniques and different types of project oriented um, instruction to allow them to try different things and learn different ways they can use the tools. I'm the primary person that teaches introductory safety class, which um, includes um, the safety class for the table saw and the sliding compound miter saw. The wood shop is a pretty full featured wood shop. We have a professional cabinet table saw made by Saw Stop. Uh, we've got a eight inch joiner, a delta eight inch joiner, um, a 12 inch planer, and we have a four, four foot by eight foot capacity shop bot CNC router. One thing that I really enjoy about um, uh, volunteering my time here is um, I, I've, I've done cabinet building, um, I've built speakers, and um, I, I really enjoy sharing these skills with the community. When I grew up, if you made things, it meant that you had a sewing machine or you had a crochet hook. And so to, to come in and be able to say, oh yeah, there's a laser cutter right over there. There's a 3D printer right over there. There's a table saw next door. I could do this all in one place. That's kind of the, the biggest canvas that I've ever been in front of. It's very humbling, but I'm, I'm thrilled that after several years, I've finally been able to do it. Um, and looking at those possibilities and looking at the kinds of things that I can make, and more importantly, the kinds of things that I can teach so we currently have three 3D printers here. Um, they all run on different software, different hardware. My job is to maintain them or see to it that they're maintained. And it's also my job to teach people how to use them so that they keep working properly and people can continue using them. When people come in new to a hackerspace or a makerspace, including Tampa Hackerspace, um, they should expect that they're going to have to learn. If you ask for advice, 
people are happy to help. But the number one thing that is going to drive your success in a project is that you want to put in the time to work on it. One event that we participate in is Maker Faire. Maker Fair comes from a global initiative to do essentially fairs. Usually they're one or two day events that bring together makers and teachers and performers and artists to present their work, maybe to teach. Um, sometimes people sell their work. And we take things that we've done and we talk about the things that you know we teach and we have to present and all of these other kinds of things. We have people here who have launched careers doing this. We have the Miles Space Project. That is now a, a employer in the Tampa Bay area. And it sprung out of Tampa Hackerspace. Finding work tends to change people's lives. <laughs> you know, especially when it's something that you kind of dream of doing. You dream of putting something up into space and you don't have to go over to the Space Coast to do it. People find their way to change their lives with what they're interested in. That's what a hacker space is really about. Um, and we have fun with it. Because if it's not fun, it's not worth doing.